welcome everyone to our Monday chat here with NCAA.com and March Madness. I'm Andy Katz. Let's take a look at the Power 36 and the AP poll. Take some questions here uh, as we uh, head into conference tournaments with a number of different tournaments like the OVC, the ASUN, the Big South, the Mountain West, and then next week, all the rest. Selection Sunday, just a little less than two weeks away. It was two weeks from yesterday. All right, let's take a look at the AP poll and the Power 36. Uh, first off, Kansas, Gonzaga, Dayton, very similar uh, with AP poll and myself. Uh, that's where we differ, though. I'm high in Kentucky right now, higher than AP just a little bit. Got them at fourth. I think they're going to enter the NCAA tournament as one of the favorites. San Diego State, both had them at five. I dropped Baylor to six. AP had them at four. The reason I dropped them, they lost to TCU. End of story. Uh, Florida State goes to seven in the AP poll. I dropped Florida State to 11. They lost to Clemson. Seton Hall were very comparable. I moved Louisville up. Maryland, um, you know, very comparable, 9-9. Uh, Creighton, I don't get the AP. Holy 11, they lose at St. John's. I dropped them to 20. Villanova, um, you know, they lost to Providence. They don't move. I don't get it. 14, I got them at 26. Michigan State were both high on. Ohio State, yes. Iowa, Auburn. Virginia at 22. I have Virginia at 21. Illinois at 23. I have Illinois at 13. Wisconsin, Michigan, 24, 25. I've got Wisconsin at 17 and 22. Um, what you don't see on their side is you see no B. Oh, no, you do see BYU. Sorry. 12 and 15. So there we go. We're very comparable there. Same with Oregon. Uh, no Providence. I think Providence is playing some of the best basketball in the country right now. I have them at 23. No, uh, Iowa 18 versus 24, although they lost to Michigan State. Houston 21 and 25. So we're all in the same ballpark. The back part of my power 36. Stanford winning again. Arizona State had a rough week, but I kept them in there. Um, because I still think they're right there to potentially still compete for the Pac-12 title. St. Mary's did lose to Gonzaga. I think they're a top 36 team. USC back in the picture after sweeping the Arizona schools. Northern Iowa won the Valley. Texas and Oklahoma beat Texas Tech and West Virginia. That puts Oklahoma in, in my book. Texas now on the bubble. Richmond, they have now the inside track of another team out of the 8-10 over URI, which lost to St. Louis. Although URI plays Dayton Wednesday night, I will be there. UNLV, I gave them some love. Why? They've won, I think, five in a row, uh, including San Diego State on the road, New Mexico on the road, San Jose State on the road, uh, and they host the Mountain West Conference Tournament. So the Run Rebels, uh, which you know had a top four finish in the league, they deserve some love. I gave it to them here at number thirty six. Uh, all right, let's go to some questions right now. Ted says, "How about my Badgers? Uh, another big finish. I think Greg Gard should be the um, Big Ten Coach of the Year." Um, let's see here. Uh, why is Indiana not getting any respect? Says Jerry. Well, I pushed them out of the Power 36 uh, after, you know, what happened with, uh, uh, you know, them losing uh, to Purdue again. Uh, they lost again on Sunday. Um, so, you know, they got to win games. I think they're going to be in, but they're now teetering a little bit. Um, let's see here. Uh, Jerry says, Purdue has to beat Iowa, um, and they need 19 wins. It's not necessarily the number. They got more need more quality wins. Iowa definitely would start, and they got to win at least, I think, two games in the Big Ten Tournament. Connor says, will William and Mary finally get in? I picked them in the preseason. So I think there's a legitimate shot uh, to get in, although it's going to be very difficult because Hofstra and Charleston, you could argue, are maybe more the favorites going into the Colonial Tournament. But I think there's hope for William and Mary. Luke says, is Kansas a lock for number one? Yes. They're not only locked for number one C, they're locked for number one overall, in my opinion. Uh Jonathan says ACC feels very easy. Four in, everyone else out. That's what I have right now. There's a bubble with NC State and Clemson. They got a pulse. But right now it's four easily in. Duke, Florida State, Louisville, Virginia in some order. Actually, it would be Florida State, uh, Florida State, Louisville, Duke probably, Virginia. Anyway, um, and then after that, it's out. NC State, Clemson. Holding on life for all. Uh, Corey, BYU has won nine in a row. If they win the WCC with the Gonzaga win, what's their seed? I think they could be as high as a five. I think I have them as a six, if I'm trying to remember. Uh, what about West Virginia, says Steve. 
Um, they're in trouble. they got to win some games. I have them in, but they're teetering toward the back part. Jordan says Kentucky should be a number one seed. You can't eliminate the losses, okay, to Utah and Evansville. They're there. As great as the wins are, we can't eliminate that. They're not going to be a number one seed, but I would put them as one of the favorites to get to Atlanta and win it. Memphis, in or out? Right now, out, I would tell you, Scott. they got to win some more games. Um, so, Mason wants to know how uh, my good friend Joe Lenardi has Virginia as a 9. I think I had them in that 8-9 range, but I think they can go higher. Will the Big East get 7 teams? Uh, I would say right now, yes. But Xavier could still play their way out, and so could Providence. Uh, they play Xavier on Wednesday night. I'll be there, and then Saturday to Paul. Um, thoughts on Iowa? I think they're going to be very difficult to punch out in the uh, tournament in, uh, in Indy. Uh, is Michigan in trouble? No. Oh, Tristan disagrees. He thinks Fran McCaffrey should be the coach of the year. I think he'll get votes, but I think Greg Ard could win it right now. Top four finish for a team that was brutal, brutal in the non-conference. They were awful. So I would go there. Is Florida going to make the tournament, asked Logan? Um, yes, they will make it. Who are my bubble teams, asked Mo. Well, I got Richmond, Mississippi State, Wichita, Memphis, URI, uh, Texas. Um, UCLA's in now. Um, I'd say those are the five that pop off the top of my head. Arkansas, no, not right now. Um, Clemson could be dangerous, although they've been dangerous at home. Um, let's see. Mike, any chance for St. Louis? they got to keep winning. Big win for SLU over the weekend. Yes, no question. Um, why is Illinois not higher in the AP poll? They're 23. I can't answer that. I don't vote in it. Will Georgia make the tournament? No, Aaron. Uh, they got to win the uh, CC. Casey says, can Rutgers rebound and make the tournament? Well, I'll be there tomorrow night, Tuesday night, Maryland. I think they got to win that game. Uh, Osa wants to know my final four. Boy, uh, I think Kentucky's going to get there. I think Kansas. I think the Zags. And a Big Ten team. But it could be Maryland, could be Michigan State, could be Illinois. I think one of those three from the Big Ten. So I'm going to say no ACC. At least right now I'm not going to say it. So, all right. Um, Let's say, Jason, was the Valley be a one-bid league? And I will tell you, if Northern Iowa wins the AQ, they will be. If they don't, they're going to get two. I have a good feeling about Northern Iowa. So, All right, a uh, lot on our plate here. We've got our March Madness 365 podcast, conversations with Tony Bennett, the head coach of Virginia, reigning national champ, UCLA head coach Mick Cronin, Kofi Coburn from Illinois. Check all that out. On March Madness 365, it'll be posted on Tuesday morning. you got our rankings to check out. We'll have another bracket uh, over the weekend uh, leading into the Champ Week. So Monday morning is when the next bracket will come out. So check out all our content on March Madness, all our social media handles. Love the engagement. Love the debate. Got a, got, got a rankings here uh, this week coming in about um, the top coaches in the NCAA tournament who will be in. That's why you're not going to see Roy Williams and Jim Bam because I don't think North Carolina and Syracuse will be in the tournament. So don't come at me, North Carolina and Syracuse fans, because I didn't include those two head coaches, the Hall of Famers, because I do not project them in the tournament. It'll be top 10 coaches who will be, in my opinion, in this NCAA tournament. And yes, Florida State fans, I have heard from you. So I debated back and forth. Probably should have had you on that top 10. I had you 11, if that means anything to you. But... Yes, you've had a great home court, and we'll see if you can finish up strong in the season with a game against BC over the weekend. See if you can go undefeated at home. All right, I'm Andy Katz for NCAA.com and March Madness. Thanks for watching.